Hello, my name is Raven. Welcome to my Unreal Kismet introduction part one in the UDK. Um, in this part, we're just going to create uh, two triggers that are going to flick a light on and off as you touch them. All right, so let's go ahead and create ourselves a ground brush, 1024, 1024 by 16. All right, now let's create two platforms for our triggers to stand on. Alright, 128, 128. Alright, let's see here. Let's place them up and over here. Alright. Now I'm going to place another I'm going to create, oh, sorry, I'm going to place a small light. Uh, this light will be used for being able to see our two little platforms, regardless of whether or not the other light is on or off. All right. So now we need to place our toggleable light. So go to View, Browser Windows, Actor Classes. Select Light. You can select any light you want. I'm going to select Point Light. Point light toggle. Add point light toggle here. I'm just gonna drag this up some. All right. Now we need to place two triggers on these platforms. All right. So now we're ready to set everything up in Kismet. Let's go to View, Unreal Kismet. Select our trigger. <coughs> Sorry. Select our first trigger. New event using trigger. Touch. Select our other trigger. New event using trigger. All right. So now we have to add a new action. Toggle. Toggle. Add another toggle. All right, now select our light. Go ahead and drop our light in. All right, so in order to make it so that when we step on this platform, this light goes, the light goes off, and we step on this platform, the light comes back on. We need to set trigger zero to turn off, and trigger zero one to turn on, and then select our toggle and select our target as the light. And now, one final thing before we finish up. Uh, if you were to run this right now, it would work after you rebuilt the lighting. However, what we need to do is we need to make it so that our triggers can be used an infinite number of times. So select our trigger, go to max trigger, trigger count, set it to zero, and then go on ahead and rebuild the lighting. And then play level, play from here. And now, as you're about to see, if we haven't made any mistakes, oops, there we go. Now our light's off, now our light's on, now it's off again, and now it's on again. All right, so that concludes our first introduction to Unreal Kismet. 